the thermal imaging not only shows real-time physiological change, but those patterns that we actually look for in ENAR therapy, which include the, the sticky um, nature of the skin, which is obviously associated with an area of increased temperature, um, which may not be perceptible to human touch, but certainly is perceptible to the, the ENAR um, device, as well as to the actual thermal imaging. Those areas represent uh, inflammation, and those, that area of inflammation then can respond to treatment. So the first set of images shows a before and after thermal pattern after just 10 minutes of the ENAR treatment. The patient actually presented with significant lower back pain, including sacral inflammation. That sacral inflammation was associated with significant impairment to um, pelvic function, and that includes organ dysfunction associated with erectile dysfunction um, in, in men. In females, you can get uh, urinary incontinence um, and uh, prolapses of the uterus because of that parasympathetic connection between the lower pelvic and lower abdominal organs and the, the sacral inflammation. In a very, very short period of time, just 10 minutes of ENAR treatment, you can see a, a marked reversal of the inflammation in the sacrum and in the lower back. But most importantly is not only you get a decrease in your temperature gradient, but you've also reduced the diffuse nature of the inflammation. So a significant um, reversal of, of symptoms in a patient. The second study is a patient with lower back inflammation not as marked as the first patient, but what you can see quite clearly is, and, and these uh, patterns are arrowed on both the right and the left, is that nerves that are coming out of the inflamed spine, they also have inflammation. It's the inflammation of the nerves coming out of the spine that actually causes the neuropathic pain in the lower legs. So in this particular patient, the before shot shows a relatively um, diffuse inflammation in the lower back, but those two um, areas of, of increased inflammation coming out laterally from the spine that it, it represents nerve inflammation. On the after, just 10 minutes of ENR treatment, you can see a complete reversal of that uh, nerve inflammation. A slight reduction in the, the spine inflammation, but the treatment didn't focus on the spine itself. The treatment focused on the actual nerve inflammation, and you can see a complete reversal of that pattern. And as a result, you'll end up with a resolution of the symptoms of neuropathic pain in the legs, or the, the referred pain. The third case is a patient with extensive back inflammation, including the cervical spine, thoracic spine, lumbar spine, and sacral spine. This is a, a patient that, that has significant discomfort. You can see there's marked focal inflammation in the upper left thoracic spine, an area of uh, referred inflammation in the what we refer to as the lung area, and that, that's associated with dysfunction, associated with the inflammation in the, in the spine, and also the, the diffuse nature of the sacral and lower spine inflammation. In this particular case, because of the diffuse nature of the inflammation and the marked increase in, in, uh, in thermal pattern, what we've done is provided 30 minutes of ENAR treatment and you can see very quickly within a 30 minute period of focused ENAR treatment that complete resolution of the inflammation in the sacral region and a marked decrease in the inflammation in the, in the upper spine. In summary, there's three cases of severe back pain where patients actually experience not just back pain, but dysfunction associated with that back pain. What thermal imaging has allowed us to do is not only show the patterns associated with that back pain and the referred uh, nerve irritation, but also the response to therapy from ENA to not only show that the nature of the inflammation has decreased, but also the extent and the, the influence in dysfunction has also dissipated.